hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the dining section, and I'll bet that you are a little bit scared of cooking artichokes. Can't say I blame you. I mean, really, this is a vegetable that looks just as much like a weapon. But I'm gonna show you how to get to the heart of the matter and make really easy artichoke dishes that are delicious. So the first thing is what to look for when you're buying an artichoke. And what you need to do is think about how am I gonna cook this? Am I gonna steam it whole? In which case you wanna buy the really big guys. You want tight packed leaves that are close together. Don't worry about all these little black marks. That's just frost damage and it doesn't actually affect the flavor of the artichoke. If you wanna make marinated artichoke hearts or a raw salad, you wanna look for smaller guys. If you can find the babies, definitely buy these. They're easy to clean because they don't have chokes, but the medium sized ones are good too. So the first step is to prepare a bowl of acidulated water, which basically means water with some lemon in it. Just cut up a lemon and then you're just gonna squeeze it right into the bowl. And then what that does is it prevents the artichoke from turning brown as you trim. So now this is the hard part, the cleaning of the artichokes. First, I'm gonna show you what to do with a big globe one to get it ready to steam it. Okay, so now just cut your artichoke stem off because you want it to be flat, so you're gonna hold it up in a steamer basket like this. And then I'm gonna take a pair of kitchen shears and go around removing all of these prickly little thorns. What you should do is as you're cutting, just dip your artichoke in the water, in the acidulated water so that it doesn't turn brown. And then once you've trimmed off all the little thorns from here, all you wanna do is take your knife and cut right across the top to get rid of the thorns there. If you wanna make marinated artichoke hearts or if you wanna dice up the heart and saute it in butter, what you need to do is remove all of the leaves. This is where you gotta be careful for thorns. These guys can really get you. And an artichoke wound, you know, it's just, it'll slightly ruin the taste of your dinner. And you're gonna keep going beyond where you think. Like you think, oh, this is enough, it's not. You really wanna take the leaves off until you get to light yellow. This is an okay place to stop. So at the end of all your artichoke cleaning, you're gonna end up with this big pile of leaves and that thrifty part of you is gonna say, I don't wanna throw them out, what can I do? Can I steam them and eat them? Can I put them in stock? The answer is no, they're bitter, they're not worth the effort, just throw them out. And now what you wanna do is trim off the top and you wanna do that right where the dark meets the light. So right about here. And you just lop that off. And then now I'm gonna trim off, I'll see all this stuff over here, I'm gonna just trim all that off. I mean, you really don't want anything dark green is gonna be very fibrous and tough. And now I'm gonna peel the stem. So just take your knife and go right on the stem. Cut off the tip. And then this is a good way to tell how much of the stem you should peel. Look right in here. And you see where that dark green part meets the light green right in the center? You wanna trim down all the way to that light green center. Now we're gonna take out the fuzzy choke. And there are two ways to do this. You can leave your artichoke whole and have this gorgeous presentation, or easier is to have the artichoke and to scrape it out from the sides. So to keep the artichoke whole, what you wanna do is just separate the leaves. Do you see those little purple leaves? These guys are spiky, so you wanna pull them out. And then once you've pulled them out, it's gonna expose the hairy choke. You mostly do it by feel. When you stop feeling leaves and you start feeling something that feels like a shag carpet, that's when you get out your little grapefruit spoon. You can use a regular teaspoon, that's fine. And then what you're doing is just basically going in there and pulling out. You see that? That fur is the choke. Another way to remove the choke is to have the artichoke, and that way you can actually see what you're working on. Just cut it right in half. It's a little bit tough, but that's okay. So just dig your spoon right in there and pull it all out, purple leaves and all. For the baby artichoke, exactly the same thing, but you don't need to remove the choke. Why? Because there is none. These immature artichokes don't develop them. So everything is just smooth sailing. Pull off the leaves, cut it in half, in the water, and you're done. So now you've got your cleaned artichokes. How do you cook them? Well, if you wanna cook a whole globe artichoke and you wanna steam it, you just put your steamer rack in your pot, a little bit of water, plop it in there, cover it, and steam it for about 45 minutes to an hour. And the important thing is do not let the pot boil dry. So here's a pot of already cooked artichokes and I'm gonna show you how to test for doneness. Just take a leaf and you wanna pull it out. There should be no resistance, just like that. And so now how do you eat them? You just put it on a plate, pretend there's a plate here. 
melted butter, mayonnaise, hollandaise, vinaigrette, whatever you feel like dunking. And you just pull out leaf by leaf, dunk, mm. and eat. So good. Now that you've scraped that velvety flesh off of each and every leaf, this is what you're gonna be left with. Remember we saw it before in a whole artichoke? There's the purple leaves, and beneath you're gonna find the hairy choke. So just pull them off with your fingers. Yes, you can use your fingers if you're in a fancy restaurant. Everybody does it. It's the only way to eat an artichoke. I suppose you could ask for a grapefruit spoon. Maybe they'll give you one. But the important thing is to get to this artichoke bottom because it is so tasty, especially in the globe artichokes. They're the sweetest. Now you're left with this gorgeous, clean artichoke bottom, the best part. Use your knife and fork to cut it up. Do not forget to dunk it right in that melted butter. Mm. Another great thing to do with artichokes, homemade marinated artichokes. So much better than anything you can buy in a supermarket and easy. You take your clean guys, you cut them in quarters, and then you just stick them in a pot with a little bit of white wine, some water, salt, and then whatever herbs and flavorings you feel like, and just simmer them until they're very soft and tender. Because you're cutting them so small into quarters, it's only gonna take about 20, 25 minutes. And then this is what you end up with. To marinate them, it's a two-step process. So after you cook them, you drain them, and then you cover them in some lovely flavorful vinaigrette with lemon and olive oil, salt, pepper, more of the herbs and garlic that you've used in the pot put them in the fridge for 24 hours, and then they absorb all of those flavors, absolute heaven. Or eat them exactly the way they are now. They taste great. You can just cube them up and throw them in a risotto or a pasta sauce with some tomatoes and olives, or maybe grind them in the food processor with some olives and some garlic. Heaven on a crostini. Deep fry them, put them in a frittata. The possibilities are endless. Or don't even cook your artichokes at all. Make a raw artichoke salad. What you're looking for is size. Usually the smaller ones are the sweeter and more tender ones. So you're just pulling off the outer leaves and then thinly slicing them. You can slice them lengthwise or crosswise, either way. What you wanna do though is lemon juice in between each artichoke to make sure they don't turn too brown. Just toss them around a little bit. And now once you've got them all sliced and in lemon, you just wanna dress them with a little bit of salt a lot of olive oil because they need the richness. Use the best olive oil that you have. And really good Parmesan cheese. Splurge for the imported stuff. And then that is a raw artichoke salad. That's all there is to it. So you've been watching me this whole time thinking to yourself, I am never making artichokes at home. It is just too much work. But try it once and I promise you'll make them forever because the payoff is big. Mm. 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 So good.